warm welcome from the flagship conference on disruptive technology and innovation for set minds. I'm here with Hans Araholt from Cobrainer and I'm happy for his time to talk about a startup company. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Uh, really great to be here and uh, thanks for the invitation. Of course. Yeah. Um, let's start and you just introduce yourself and what your company is doing. Okay, yeah, great. Thanks. Um, so my, my name is Hans Araholt. I'm the CEO of Cobrainer. And we are a data analytics company. And what we do is we go into large companies, uh, into basically uh, large DAX companies, and we really help them to build pro uh, projects faster and to really accelerate the whole kind of project building and innovation process. And we do that with our uh, product Cobrainer, which is an expertise management software. So what is an expertise management software? Um, basically, we think that uh, expertise, um, each human's expertise is very, very unique to everybody. So we started thinking about, can't we somehow um, analyze and track uh, who has what type of expertise and what type of expertise is relevant to another? So what we basically do is we go into a large enterprise and we read lots of project data. We read lots of documents uh, that people produce. And from these documents, we actually automatically create an expertise profile for every employee without them having to do anything. And the software does an, an, an additional step in actually understanding what uh, is written about. So it understands the context of expertise um, and it creates these expertise profiles for employees. So now what you have is you're basically a project manager. You're thinking of a, about starting a new project. You're thinking about um, a technology question and you don't really know who to talk to. You would have to pick up the phone or um, write thousands of emails. But now you just use Cobrainer to actually just describe um, your technology question or your new project in uh, totally uh, normal language mm -hmm. and Cobrainer suggests to you the most relevant um, experts in the company, uh, the uh, most relevant projects, the most relevant patents, um, all in one spot. So we really want to bring the right experts to the table in seconds instead of months. Okay, cool. I heard that you are really leading in pro um, engineering products in Europe and India. Could you take so some experience out of this for your startup? Well, actually, that was the whole um, the whole idea for it. Um, I actually did very, very diverse um, engineering products uh, projects all over the world. Um, uh, I had I led teams that basically designed an, an aircraft ca cabin for Airbus. Um, I um, built a, um, a a plus energy, a so-called plus energy house in Japan, and I actually led a a, a slum resettling project in in um, Ahmedabad in India. So and and I was always leading a very diverse uh, a team of with a very diverse set of expertise. Mm -hmm. And the, the the key problem in starting such a project is actually finding those people. And the, like the first question is always like. Which expertise do I actually need for, for, for a project? And then I started thinking, um, is there a, a way that can, like, a, a, a technology that could suggest to me, like, I want to build, let's say, a house or something. What expertise do I need to actually build a house? What expertise do I need to build an aircraft cabin? So a software that suggests to me what expertise I need and then does the second step in actually saying, who are those people and where can I find those people that have that expertise? And that's, like, really the whole kind of genesis of, of, of what Cobrainer is, is actually um, mapping expertise, mapping the expertise of the world, basically, mm -hmm. um, and finding relevant experts for your new project. Okay. Yeah. This may, may also be very interesting for startups who want to do their own business. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is actually a, a very interesting link for us because we started out as an academic, as a university project, mm -hmm. uh, really bringing together academic um, student teams for these new projects. Um, And then at some point in time, we realized, okay, we, have, we, we want to be a startup, but we have to make money. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there was a big coincidence in us getting in, in touch with large corporations that had basically exactly the same problem. Mm -hmm. So um, they want to start new innovative pro uh, projects, and they're looking for people from different departments within their enterprise. But they have no idea who that person is in the different apartment, uh, uh, departments and how to bring them together. Um, and so they said, well, your solution absolutely fits our case as well and we want to map the expertise of our, our, our companies. And so we started actually doing that and we are now a software that does that internally for the enterprise. But now we're hearing the next step. So and the next step is um, we basically create this expertise map and we also are able to show them where they have expertise gaps. So where they have um, missing expertise, missing relevant expertise. Mm -hmm. And now they ask us, but. Like you're mapping expertise of all these different companies and all like 
why can't you work with institutes and universities and students and map their expertise and basically suggest to us what relevant startups are there for specific. Yeah. Um, so we call that beyond the factory gates, actually helping enterprises uh, to connect to startups, to connect to institutes in a totally different level. Mm -hmm. um, and that's basically our next project for 2016, which we're working on right now. You met a lot of big companies here at the conference. Could you take some benefits out of this? Actually, this is my second year at the conference. I was at DTIM last year, and it was, um, it was really for us a... Um, like, we're still a startup. We're two years old. We're just making on, on the verge of making our first million in revenues, so we're really, really sm uh, small still. Mm -hmm. um, and we're still learning. And, and basically the DTIM for us is a, is a way of actually talking to the guys that actually should use these software, like mm -hmm. in the innovation managers and the guys that build new projects, yeah. because they're all at DTIM. So um, that was like the first year was really awesome and just getting some feedback and getting some leads for us also as a company. Mm -hmm. And now the second year, we're seeing the same thing again. So it's really about people commenting, oh, you could use it for that, or there's another application field in the enterprise there. Mm -hmm. And this is all very, very valuable for us as a startup. Okay, so I guess you will be here next year again. Um, yeah, I guess so. Maybe not as a startup anymore, but as <laughs> a grown company. Yeah, I, yeah maybe, maybe. Good luck with that. Yeah, and thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.